because you cheated. Or why is it always me that's doing garbage? The thing, you changed the, <laughs> you changed the thing. The cover the is, cover photo. Yes, because Talia has been How gone forever that? now. And <clears throat> that's a female... Uh, uh, what does it say? Oh, it's a female satyr who's ready to rock out. Oh yeah, who's she rock? Yeah. Uh, the guy that she's got in an arm lock. <laughs> Headlock, rather. Her, that looks like her child. It's well, it's definitely not. You just can't see the rest of it. Anyways, Tali is gone, so the Kuro Inu doesn't really work anymore, and I just didn't care until today. Oh, wait, did you change the picture? Well, yeah. I, wow. Ah, ah time to log up. I changed log it like two in. hours ago. Who cares? I, oh, my, I've seen that picture before. Damn. Yeah. Um, what are those? No, Mythic Odyssey of Theros, which is very much Greek inspired D and D. Is a, a picture from that. I think that's from the playable race picture. As well, and satyrs are pretty funny. You have you have advantage on it or investigation checks to find social gatherings wherever you are. Uh, I doesn't make you feel weird to think that COVID was a thing in the D and D world. They'd basically just be like, "Hey, you lay on hands." And every week, restoration. Eh. Restoration is a any any fucking spell. cure disease. You don't need lesser restoration. Although you could do it. But there you go. Oh my goldfish. All right. So, last week, the party. Escaped being captured and possibly rendered down into a gem or a rock, even. Themis went traipsing through the sewers, mostly naked for a while. While. Hey. <laughs> while Yolrum and Yudi. Like were watching. <laughs> <laughs> decided want, to get it. Decided to make friends with a mushroom farmer. The party eventually met back. Recovered basilisk bile, had a bath, and did a little bit of eh, tying up loose ends, I suppose, before getting totally trashed in a tavern, courtesy of UD, who just wanted some blood, and chose to go about it in a very roundabout... Oh yeah. Let's <laughs> get everybody high away. Yeah, compound oh, oh, criminal oh, record way of getting other people's blood. <laughs> Themis, of course, decided to do his, decided to double down and, <laughs> and smoke. Smoke some fucking fairy tobacco, oh, let's go. go. Yep. Oh, I was worried there. Wow. Near the end of the session, uh, Themis provided UD with a jade orb that curiously attached into Yudi's body. Uh, not that anyone was there. It was, just the two, it was just the two of them, so no one else is aware of it, rather. And with this... Or will they be? There we go. Oh, did you guys figure out what it does yet? Yep. Yep. Nice. nice. Figured out the next three as well. Hey. More or less. <clears throat> I felt that it was, it was time that Yudi had some character development. Aw, shucks. Man, you can ask Aid. Well, well, you know, know who's, who's next. next. <laughs> oh, no. It's definitely going to be a little one. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey, fucking God. <laughs> Speaking of your first things first. Hi, Hi, James. How you doing? Did you have fun last night's session? Mm-hmm. I did. That's really great, sweetie. I'm happy for you because the fun's about to stop. So, you and Yudi have You need to make a decision. And for those of you who are curious, I got, I got that from, from that. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, you need to make, make a decision. Uh, Yorum failed, failed his constitution, constitution check by more than five, 
rag rag rats. Rag rats. Rag rats. Rag rats. So, so his uh, trip, trip lasted six, six hours, hours instead of three. three. So, so are, are you going, going to sleep in and risk the party moving on without, without you having to catch, catch up? up? Or, which, which is, is a very real danger, danger with, with, since, since it's going to be three, three hours. hours. Or, or are, are you going, going to get up at a regular time and suffer a level of exhaustion? Is, is everyone going to be mean enough and leave me behind? Well, let's oh, take, let's take a, a look at our past track record. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm thinking. Of leaving people at the inn, shall we? Yes. yes um, I'd, I'd say wow. that there is. Wow. It, we. Andrew, who off, off the cliff? cliff? I'm sorry. Casual murder discussions happening? Oh, it's not murder. It's, 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 it's manslaughter. Oh, manslaughter is when you didn't um, plan for it. For it. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, yeah I think we're. Uh, he just, he just, just threw off a cliff. cliff. He didn't plan for him to die. It's fine. Exactly. Gravity killed. Yeah, yeah. Gravity did all the work. So, mm-hmm. so then is that like what John Wilkes Booth really thought when he was killing Lincoln? Like the gunpowder is the thing that killed him. If the gunpowder wasn't there. Oh, apparently, apparently that's, that's apparently that's what like, like most of Republicans, Republicans are thinking, thinking about Trump's, Trump's impeachment. impeachment. Like he's, he's not, not in office anymore. Why bother? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, that's, that's like, like saying, saying I shouldn't, I shouldn't get, get a speeding ticket because I'm not in the car anymore. Like, come <laughs> on. Cough. So, so, what are we, are we doing? doing? Are, you, are, you, are you getting, getting up, up or are you sleeping, sleeping in? in? So... <laughs> Do we not just sleep it off? Because what time is it? Your trip lasted twice as long because you failed by more than five. five. So everyone, everyone else lasted three hours, hours yours lasted six, six hours. hours. Okay, um, I will sleep and catch up with the group. Oh, okay. Alright, so, so, the rest, the rest of, the of the group comes, comes down, down whenever, whenever o'clock. o'clock. Oh, uh, did, did we, we just take a long rest? Yes, yes no, that'll, that'll be a long rest. rest. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah my, my spell slot's back. back. Let's go! I don't I regret a thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my short-term, short-term memories loss kicked, kicked in. in. I don't, I don't even, even know what happened. I, uh, <laughs> I burned, like, eight spells to try to get Rockham's blood. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that was, was pretty ridiculous. ridiculous. You shouldn't have frightened me. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Now, now, now we, we do port again. Yeah, we do. Oh, yes, yes. The classic port. Why not? There it is. Right, so... You all come down and sit around having breakfast, uh, recovering a little bit from your hangover. It's it's pretty darn quiet, uh, as it actually seems like you're in between meals, something like that. Uh, but it's, it's quiet. There's a little bit of ambiance. <laughs> Don't you fucking, fucking do it. it. I see you little shit. Oh. Nice. Or me. Oh, I'm talking about my asshole, asshole cat. cat. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. It's like there's no, no way she knows. knows. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I mean, you two give off the same vibe energy of like, yeah, this is mine now. Fuck everything else. Get your room! Because he really does do that sometimes. He's like, uh, no, this is my window, fuck your plans. Or, this is my shelf now, fuck your switch. Well, that's right, I did have a picture for that. Mm. Right. 
Yeah. So, so you were all gathered. gathered. There's plenty to talk about. And you plan your day thing. and figure out what you want to do. Kind of massage my head a little bit. Uh, order. Um, a uh, cup of cafe. <laughs> And, uh, easily done. Ground. So, how did you get out of that place? I never really got the story. Yeah, and why did you leave me there? <laughs> also, where's Yorum? Yes, the big fellow is missing. Huh. Ah, intriguing. Ah, uh, well, 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 let's hope he was, was tripping balls. balls. She was, was, in fact, tripping balls. Miss Dennis will give you the small frown. Well, do go on. How did you get out of that place? What place? Well, you know, there were manacles and not the fun kind. And at that, I'll raise an eyebrow and just... You know I don't remember anything from that time, yes? Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's, uh... Not what I mean. I've meant more recent events. Oh, it was yours. Yes, let's keep, uh, specifics to a minimum, right? And, uh, yeah, Themis will, like, nervously look, look around the common room to see if anybody's paying attention. I'm, I'm gonna don't also don't make that project to see if it works. Okay, go ahead. Watch as I love that fucking... 1722. Hey. Man, we are I, I, I assume it's not. I was just doing it more for paranoia effect. Yes, there's very few people in here, and the, the the staff are keeping an eye on you a little bit, but that's about it. No, no, the few customers don't seem particularly interested. Yeah. Uh. Well, uh, after I had Raugum do um, a bunch of work, you know, breaking the chains, uh, freeing me, then. I, I handled Dora and I, I, I got us out of there. You've, you've, you've seen me transport myself before. That, that's not you. Yes, yes but where, where did you transport, transport yourself? That's the part I don't understand. Right up. I see. And, and you ended, ended up in a mushroom farm. You ended up in a mushroom farm, yes. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, Honestly, that went a lot better than I was expecting. I thought I was going to end up in the rocks. And how, how far away... What's, What's this mushroom farm? farm? Do you remember? Uh, nine I only or only detracting however much we fell from. from. Yes, yes, but... I only joined you when you were on your way back. So how long would you say you walked before I met up, met up with you? Uh, and this will bring out a notebook and start taking some notes. Honestly, you'd have to ask Yolren. I, I was um, looking into my familiar most of the time, just keeping track of Raugum and you. Yeah. Well, I didn't know you were there yet until you, uh, while your naked form dashed across the battlefield into a portal, but yes. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, we'll have to ask him. Could be useful to know the exact uh, location. Give it take a few feet uh, your uh, chemical the, uh, purposes well <laughs> not necessarily alchemical but Wait, did it... purposes oh shit it increase oh. uh, so I will take down notes of where I think um what I think the way to the mushroom farm was, because we did walk back from, from it um, somewhat. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah they're in the middle. Went, you got, got like half of it. I'll complete my information when by asking Raug uh, Yolrum whenever he turns up. You got my DM, yes, James? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well. Really? I do appreciate the information. Um. What are you planning on doing today? Is there anything in particular, or just a rest day for you, as it were? Ah! And Yudi will appear at the door. Yes, a rest day. I think I was going to go take a very long walk. I see. Well, enjoy your walk, then. I hope that what I gave you has not caused you any trouble. Just uh, the smile a little bit more uneasy. Of course not. It's never a trouble. Hmm. Well, I've carried it for quite a while. In fact, I had even forgotten that it ex that it was on me at some at a certain point. But uh, and it just magically appeared in your inventory, huh? <laughs> well, I do have a bag of holes. I don't know what happened there. It would be pretty interesting. <laughs> would be pretty easy to lose. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> um, if you do ever happen upon rumors of harpies, just out of curiosity, or a word of form warning, um, do let me know. I, I may have a use for them. Alright, and I'll keep, uh, I'll keep an eye out. If you... Though this would be incredibly unlikely, if you do find close to a leader of Ambrosia around, um, I would be quite ecstatic to... Wouldn't we all? Yes. In any case, just keep in mind that I do have a use for such esoteric items, if you happen upon them. Of course. Oh, you mean like the Ambrosial monks that <laughs> UD was invited to go visit? Wait, when was I invited to do that? When, for, when Verinius gave, when, uh, when Flavius gave you the knot of cord to go, because he thought that's where you were going. At the, at the train station, when when I pretended to give him a different voice. Way back old. when. Oh. <laughs> remember last week, Phil? You was like, "Hey guys, remember when we went to the Feywild? Remember when you left on the train trip?" <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I, I forgot that canonically. That's like, what, three, four days ago? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 yes. It's, it's, it's like two it's months. That far. You what? Wait, uh, what, what's the Oh item? my god, I, just turn it off. It, I don't have it in my inventory. He gave you a piece of knotted cord. Piece of knotted? Yes. yes. It, it looks, looks it, it's not just any old cord or anything. anything. It, it looks surprisingly nice. nice. It's, it's got, got a little, little bit, bit of uh, a metallic, metallic glint, glint to a few strands that have been bound together. together. But, but it's, it's, it's just, just in a hopeless, gordian looking situation. situation. But he, he, he thought, thought that you were, were that's where you were going. going. <laughs> because that's, that's pretty much one, one of the few things that he actually knows, knows about that area. And you said... Well, well, now, now I, I am. am. And you yeah. took it. And <laughs> I remember saying, now I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You still have a sending stone. stone. Yes, I do. Sorry. Uh, him if you... Yeah. Can, can, I, can I use that? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Of course. Okay. Quick send. I'm just gonna... Hey, hey buddy! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yep. yep. So I, uh, I may be visiting soon. Uh, okay. You, you send, send it off. off. Uh, uh, probably less than a minute, minute goes by. Like 45, 50 seconds. seconds. You're, You're going... Oh, to the, the box! box. Right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, great. great. Have, Have fun. fun. Let, Let me know, know what you learn. Ah, yes, okay. So he was... He is useless for information gathering. Let's, uh, let's, let's find ways to information gather outside of that. I guess that's uh, what I'm getting my day Sorry, I, I missed I it. Because um, my roommate you know. said she turned 
she lit the kitchen on fire, which she didn't, but she said so, and it made me upset. It was believable enough to upset you. <laughs> well, yeah. she, she turned around and went, Isaac, I think I lit the kitchen on fire, and I was like, I didn't see any flames, but I wasn't sure. Didn't, didn't smell, smell any smoke. smoke. Oh, I smelled the smoke. Oh, shit. But, but I didn't see any flames. So I was I was scared for a little while. Um, did you do this within sight of me, or did you leave the? Did you excuse yourself before? Uh, I probably did that time? within within sight of you. Okay. Um, do I? Let's see. Where is my perception? Perception? Well, nope. That's that's we gonna be a, a hard one. Nope. A hard nope. You're, you're, you're still, still taking, taking a hard, hard look, look at everybody, everybody that's, that's around, around you. you. Yeah, the paranoia is kind of hit. Because you know, there, there could, could be town doors in the sky. They might know, know that you, that you all are calling for ruckus and maybe doing, doing illegal like smoking. Ah, what's. Uh, they can't make a substance that they don't really know about illegal. Between that they can't stop me. In real life, and they will. You have to. You have to be. If, oh. if they, have, they have to be able to categorize it before they can fucking uh, illegalize it. Yeah, and dwarves were such a young race; they definitely haven't had the time to do that. <laughs> Something <laughs> as simple as fey tobacco, you know, like it's it's, it's, it's harmless, yeah. mostly. Sure. Uh, Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Alright, um, so if he's going on a walk... Um... Raugum, what do? You've been awfully silent. Um, Too silent. I was reading. Worryingly silent. Uh, yes, well, what Raugum is Raugum had to, reading? Raugum had to experience some things he didn't like. As well. Yeah, I read oh, that. Oh, right, yeah. I, I, Did um, he have surprise butt sex? Yeah. No, I yeah. did a thing. I rolled twenty five intimidation and said fuck off so I could process and rebottle everything, is what I said, and I slammed the door in his face. Yep. Rebottle everything? No what idea how you unbottle his, his feelings. Ah. It's <laughs> Joey understands one part about role playing a man correctly. It's fucking <laughs> compartmentalizing and bottling up your emotions. Let's go. <laughs> right. Oh, hey, compartmentalization is not a bad thing. We don't need to encourage her to be less involved with the party. So let's just. All right, so Raga, what do you do? I miss talking to you. Um, I come down, like t totally poker faced, you know, like nothing yeah. happened, and uh, I eat a hearty breakfast. Right, fantastic. How boring. <laughs> okay, thanks. moving on then. Thanks, guys. So, so, you are eating breakfast. So much to work, God. <laughs> so, <laughs> so much. Or worth work with, I guess. What well, I... Uh, guess I'm gonna go talk to some NPCs. Okay, so first Might of all, Might be a little more interesting. <laughs> As part of a bonus action you take to enter your rage, you can move up to half your speed. What? What is this? Uh, I had a question. <laughs> As part of the- that's I don't like- Sure. We will try it on a- uh, What is that called? Probationary measure. And if I don't like it, I will take it back away. But sure. Oh, is she proposing buffs to yeah, Barbarian? She's looking at a Wikipedia page for Barbarian. And they've changed- they've given options at various levels. And of course she wants to use the Ooh. options because it gives her things. So oh, for more things I, she has. I am, I am open. It's only half, and she has to rage. But if if it gets to be ridiculous, I will take it back away. <laughs> so you may temporarily have it. Yes. Okay. All right. So you are seated there, having your talk, having your discussion, and uh, there is a, a a quite an older woman with white. Slightly gray, but mostly white hair with uh, it looks like nice, which was which with looks like uh, a blindfold that's essentially made out of tassels. Uh, I, 
not see where you just came from now. She's got on just a very long ankle length dress. And it looks like a very high collar that seems to not only wrap around her neck, but also along her jaws, and seems to actually kind of cover her ears a little bit. And as you're as you're speaking, she walks over and. Uh, I'm sorry. Could you clarify something for me? Go ahead. I can't tell if you're describing a nun or a sub. <laughs> <laughs> Why not both? Neither. Or again, no, those dogs. <laughs> okay, neither. She's just a total. She's just a gimp. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, oh, oh, okay, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, no, well, no, let's go. No, let's have no, this direction. No, no, she's like a 78 year old looking. Oh, right. 78. Woman. Well, that's what she looks like, in any case. Uh, so, she uh, approaches with a. with a little Stein mug type, ar- type arrangement with, with it. Looks very hot, and you can see little vapors coming off of it. Something else I wanted to. Oh, oh, oh! She's uh, around her lips, and her lips themselves. You can see there's there's quite a bit of uh, burnt orange staining. Oh, nice. Ew. She uh, walks over and and stands at the table. Good. <gasps> what? Good m- morning, gentles. I wonder if I. Might have a seat with you for a moment. The more the merrier, as always. And I'll gesture to you are. her to take a seat. That is kind of you. She will uh, have a seat and take a medium draft of her what is of her hot beverage. It uh, doesn't really smell like anything, but. And this will just surreptitiously put a hand in his in his cloak. Mm. I am. Uh, I mean, you know, ill will or anything of the sort. I am simply being uh, observed, and I would prefer not to be alone at this time. Yes. Well. Uh, I don't terribly mind, but we do have reasons of our own for not wanting to be uh, to attract attention. And so, if your presence here would be drawing unwanted attention, perhaps we should know a little bit more about what this is about. I, I can offer you assurances that they are singularly after me. I this one fly directly into my face. Not have any intention of yeah, causing really us harm. Uh, well, they may not have any intention of causing us harm, but you know, <laughs> with such proximity, we we may be caught in the crossfire. I, I feel like it is fair for us to know. You, you yes, are... and the simple act of drawing attention to us would lead to possibly unfortunate consequences for us. You are off looks at the dwarf. You are all certainly hale and hearty. I, I, I can, of course, uh, provide compensation if you do come under attack. But uh, I certainly would not fare well by myself. Compensation is all good and fair, but preparation is more what we need. I feel. I tend to agree with my Eastern friend here. Uh, is spell swords? Is that enough to prepare you? Yes. They're, they're not. Uh, they're, they are not here yet, but they may be. Yudi's gonna ha ah, goddamn it, and then go into his bag, take a the little glowing lotus thing, and put it in his pocket again, so it's easy to access again. <laughs> Man, I need to pick up more drugs. Yeah, Ra- raise one eyebrow at at Yudi. What? You've never. 
Oh, I have. But, um... Well, it's been a while since I've acquired anything of such... an acquired taste, as it were. <laughs> also, where is Yalrum? It's been a while. <laughs> Hasn't it? Or am I simply... I'm just I'm gonna tired. Pass message. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna message your old room. It's like... Snore if you're asleep. <laughs> okay, your room, you, uh, you hear a little ping in your mind. It, it, it can wake you up if you choose to, but otherwise you'll, you'll still hear it in your head. Your room will slowly come to consciousness. Mm-hmm. Wake up. Wash his face with some warmer water. And come downstairs groggily. Ah, another one joins this group. Is this the last of them? Uh, yes, uh, should be. Well, this, this is certainly one of the more intimidating figures. Yes, he is something to look at, isn't he? <laughs> Certainly is. Quite the muscular man. <laughs> and Yudi will try to flex and go <laughs> and stop trying. Nice. <laughs> Speaking of looking, uh, there is an imager Maximus about two blocks from here. If we could perhaps coordinate our day so that I, you could possibly escort me to my uh, friend's office and have it with a minor, with a, with a, yeah, with, with the most minor of inconveniences to your day. I don't see an issue for someone as... <clears throat> Them is clearly looking for an alternative word to old, um, <laughs> wise, <clears throat> venerable, <laughs> as you. She, she gives a, a, a small, narrow smile. I, I, yes. Well, we half elves do tend to age a little bit faster than our. our uh, gen, uh, Progenitors. Fair. Than our progenitors. Oh, my name is Avernica. Uh, okay. Are you spelling that with a K? No. <laughs> okay. At your service. It's not Avantica. Sure. It's <laughs> Avernica. Yeah, like Avernus, Averna. but with Ica yes. instead of us. Yeah. No, I, I had uh, A V E R N I K A instead of uh, A V E R N I C A. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> correct. Who just blew up what? Oh, I realized that flagpole with my grenade. <laughs> so, you're uh, having a flagpole tail end. <laughs> yes. You're having the tail end of this conversation when. You, you all feel a bit of a chill. Uh, looking around, it seems as if some of the other patrons are nestling up to their late breakfast, early lunch, and maybe turning up their collars a little bit. And in enters a woman who looks like that. Oh, that? She, and she, then you're- Goes. Holy fuck, I'm gonna smash. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all smashing tonight. We're all smashing. <laughs> Wait, can Yudi smash? Uh, I mean, does Yudi smash? You. Let's coin flip that. Mm-hmm. Uh, flip. Heads, yes he does, okay. Yudi smash is just like that. Heads them. means you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Yudi can <laughs> smash now. Uh, she, yes, you know, dick is check to see if I had a dick, you know? <laughs> <laughs> 
She, Before uh, it was like Schrodinger's dick. Was it there? Was it not? Nobody knows. It was both. It was both there and not there at the same time. Yes. Until somebody pulled down your pants. Yep. Oh. And then uh, quantum superposition collapses due to the observer. Uh, Hopefully, it's her. <laughs> exactly. Right. So uh, she heads to the bar and places an order. There are a lot of people. Something to drink. And receives it. <laughs> Veronica is uh, looks turns her head towards her since you can't really see her eyes. She, she uh, turns her to her. Uh, the the magic is quite strong with that one. I, I'm glad she's not against us. Real or me, rather. I'm glad she's not against me. And who is she? I do not know. But she came in and brought a chill with her. That everyone they seems to eat hammer. So I assume she has some sort of magic to her. Let's find out, and Yudi will slap his book on the table. Oh. Uh I'm through a few pages. Look at UD with alarm. <laughs> do, 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 do. And then, uh, while I'm through the page of this book, I'll look up and kind of like see both of them looking at me and be like, What? You two half elves don't have anything to talk about? And I'll start ritual casting detect. Alright, that's uh, 10 minutes of free fun. Well, I never half elf. Ugh. Please, at least be correct in your. Oh, uh, he's not listening. Yeah, yeah, he's not listening to me. Okay, well. <laughs> this realizes that as quickly as Sinon realizes that for me. <laughs> hmm? I just realized Yudi wasn't listening as quickly as you realize I don't listen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. My emotion. Um, right, so I guess, uh, Themis will just, uh, look over at Yolrum and pick up the discussion about, um, the location of the mushroom farm that he appeared to prior to, uh, me, you know, just kind of dipping out of the ceiling. Um. Okay, so we'll we'll do that. And take a note, um, as to where it is, if Yolrum is forthcoming. Do I remember where it is? Give me intelligence. Check. Ooh. Oh no, here we go. Okay. Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh boy. Not I'm starting really. to wish that Yolrum had, really had uh, played that intelligence barbarian that he was going to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the, the bookish, nerdy. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh -huh. uh, you're not really coming up with anything. It was dark, and you, there was a lot going on. At the time, a lot. you didn't uh, track a whole lot. Remember that you were going. Plus, UD was doing his thing. There was just there was way too much to focus on. About the name of the farmer, perhaps. I know that he was farming Epsom Ragnolia, or probably, from your description of his mushrooms the only thing that I got from it was that they were mushrooms <laughs> but not his name or the name of the, of the farm yeah. my friend if you recall <laughs> we happened to take many a mushroom or many a drug yeah, last night right, and right. my memory does not serve well for the past follow for the past few days. Yeah, shame. Perhaps when Yudi is done whatever he's doing, he might be a little more uh, forthcoming. Useful. <laughs> we could also, if it's a possibility, try and re retrace our steps. Yes, Starting well, that from... was my intent, uh, but... Uh, seems that Yudi only remembers half of the walk, and you don't remember the other half, so... 
Or couldn't we? You'll have a solution for this if we need. But uh, talk to me about it when, when we're out. If you guys haven't, when I'm yeah, done that's... ritual casting, if you guys haven't figured out a way to fix yet. Like, just, just giving you guys that out. Medic nice hit, uh, yeah. Well, in any case, if you feel that going back into the sewers would jog your memory, I'm sure we can arrange that. <laughs> and get captured again and almost killed. Well, and we're not going into the I'm sewers living. to murder a basilisk this uh, I mean, hunt a basilisk this time. Um, but, um. Well, we weren't planning on getting captured either the first time. I've come to the conclusion that we were only captured due to drawing their attention. I believe that they had some sort of plan for the basilisk. Um, not that I know what that plan might be. Mm -hmm. However, I'm somewhat certain that you may be right now, as they probably have their eye out for um, such an eclectic group of individuals that has escaped their clutches so easily or readily. Would it be possible to start at the entrance from where we went in and go in the general direction of where we went through the sewers but on land and in theory we will end up where we find the mushrooms and the mushroom farmer. I should like to, but far away as you were shooting them. Like I said, I'm not confident in my sense of direction, given that I only have half the route. In any case, the problem is one easily solved with a few questions in the right places. All right. Could it not be possible that we could? ask for directions or ask for someone who knows a mushroom farmer in these area in the area or as you say however for some reason I feel that mushroom farming is not such an uncommon profession around here Gave me the idea, though. That'll probably cover the majority of Themis's casting time. So you're doing detect magic. She is. Well, it wouldn't be hard to just get up and walk around if you had to. So. I won't even be that way about it. Uh, so she is really quite magical indeed. There's not uh, there's not a particular school associated with it, although you do get quite strong pings, I suppose, of illusion. But there's definitely more than just that. I'm gonna. Before I approach her, I'm gonna I'm gonna remember the time in the train when uh, Ragum pointed out someone with an illusion on them, and I'm gonna try and perceive the same kind of uh, fuckery going on. You know? Ah, uh, okay, all right, yeah, sure. Uh, is that? What do you want me to roll for that? That's intelligence, I believe, to see through it. Uh, I'll be intelligence. Check. Not not a saving yeah. throw because you're not really defending yourself against anything. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You you are very confident in your ability to detect illusion magic, and with the magical display that's here right now, you can say with great confidence that there is in fact an illusion going on here uh, it, it is very good though the, uh, the the slight differences that helped you 
Agreed. tell the difference uh-huh. in, in the train aren't really quite there. You're no, you're taking a lot on your detect magic spell and and less off of visual observation. But there is still a clear uh, there's still a clear shell around her that shows an illusion magic. Slump back in my chair, kind of scratch at my chin a little bit, wondering if she truly is hot or not. Uh, <laughs> is she and even a walk. guy? She could be a guy, yeah. Uh, I can't see through the uh, illusion, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up. Oh my goodness. What happens if she's, happens if she's like a troll or something? Well, I think Yudi's about to get some troll dick. Damn. <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, uh... Oh, booty. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, little troll babies running around. Half like troll babies. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, you approach her. She side eyes you as you do, but uh, does not turn. <clears throat> Hello, and what would such a wonderful spellcaster like yourself be doing in such a lowly bar like this? <laughs> Jeez. All right, she. Not that lowly. Hey, we're here. How low can it be? I have, I have taste. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, you know, fucking bars. But more, more importantly, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what the big fucking wizard lady is doing. You know, <laughs> so like uh, big titty wizard uh, girlfriend. Those, those. No, 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 no. She ain't got no letters. That's fine. So, zero. Uh, I didn't say zero. I That's said not that. utters. It's wrong with you. That's okay. Hmm? All right. I so. prefer no Shout it. <laughs> She's like a really beautiful magician. So I'm like, ooh, let's let's see if we can uh, slide into those DMs, you know? Sorry, my roommate's asking what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, nice. Huh? All right. So uh, you make your query. She gives you a once over as, as you speak. And then takes a, a take, takes a sip, and you can see now there's little bits of little, bit of, little bits of frost that are forming on that cup <coughs> that she's holding. Takes a sip, sets it back down. I don't know who you are, but you may go. God, two quest hooks in one fucking like 30 minute period I'm loving it sorry I got distracted by uh what? the other guy <laughs> are we what are we doing uh, she <laughs> you, when, where, uh, so she takes a drink you see a little little bits of frost forming on the glass and she's holding. She sets it back down and looks at you. I do not know who you are, but you may go. <laughs> we don't know who you are, but what? But you, you may, may go. go. You may go. Basically, fuck off. <laughs> I may, yeah. but I, I would feel terrible parting without at least her name. Center. Oh, how, uh, how do you spell that? S- <laughs> DL? Oh, S-I-N-T-E-R. And, uh... <laughs> I was about to ask who named you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're not going back. That's, uh... All right, then. I'm sorry to have bothered you, and uh, Yudi will take his leave. Damn, a man that knows how to take a no. Right? Like, you could do better. So attractive. What? Oh, wait, fuck, no, inside check, inside check. Is that actually the name? Because oh, I need sh- this for later. Shit. Okay. 22. Right. 
No, yeah, that's, that's definitely, definitely not her. Right. She just, Fuck that! I'm she, not walking away. <laughs> she just she just dropped that name at you like it was a bag of garbage. There's nothing behind it. And then I'll reply, yes, and I am Emma Malorian. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Dropping my name. Got it. <sighs> Alright. Just be like, Themis Malorian, um, founder of the Feywild or some bullshit. <laughs> Just founder of the Feywild. Founder? <laughs> no. Manifest Fey destiny, West. bitches. Let's <laughs> see if you can get on my level. Pro tip, you can't. Alright, <laughs> uh, alright, alright. Um, Get on my level and my billy. This is the whole thing here. Hey man, aren't you happy? We're actually like responding to your quest hooks, okay? Don't yeah, fucking well, complain. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna complain because y'all are not responding, responding to the huge quest hook that you just left. left. Nobody's, Nobody's talked, talked about it. it. Ralgum got kidnapped, kidnapped by a group of people that he supposedly allied with, and he's, he's not, not even talking, mentioning it. Well, Among that's nothing new. Right. Well, somebody's got it. Yorum hasn't said anything. He's the newest party member. He doesn't know what the fuck just went on there. He ain't saying shit. So well, I, I don't know anything about the cult of the Grey Lord. Well, and I will bring up the but you know portable bone when we're, we're in a place more conducive to privacy. But Sorry, you know I got a bunch of free mac and cheese. Yeah, I know. But you're, but you know so that they're working together, together and, and you know that you know that you don't like them. Everybody knows you don't like them. And whatever. So do what you want. I have already introduced a DMPC who will guide you along the correct path because y'all are continue to fuck this up. Oh so. dear, DMPC. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, right. So he turns around and says, I'm the best player. Okay. Uh, she. She snaps her head back to you and says, No, you are not. And he's sitting at the table that you got up from. You can't oh, wonderful. Again. Yes. Why do you know who we are? And I will, uh,. As the tech thoughts, which breaks my concentration oh on dear. tech magic. Okay, so you watch as the aura around her fade. Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> Learn the surface thoughts of the creature. Okay, so you ask the question. Uh, her immediate thoughts are: How much does, does this one know? And how committed is he to his group? And oddly enough, that is very close to what she says. With a, how much do you care about him? Uh, in the grand scheme of things? In the immediate scheme of things. Well, in the immediate scheme of things, he's useful, but disposable. In the grand scheme of things, not at all. Then how would you like a job? Well, perhaps uh, this time uh, I would like, uh... Actually, I was getting an insight check, check first. first. <laughs> Hold up. All right. Now one, now one. Shut up, it's an 18. <laughs> I'm your personal cheerleader, you love it. I'm bullshitting. You are alright. <laughs> well, then I guess she's not asking that. <laughs> uh, she, uh, alright, so her eyes narrow, and she looks past you to the table with Themis and your new travel partner or something? Whatever that is. Uh, and, and, looks, and looks back at you. You don't get to... Save each other's life, lives, so recently, and not care about each other. If I were you, I would break ties with him soon, though. And I'll, I'll pop Cielo and 
pop a squat. Be like, I'd be, I'd be honest with you. It's not the saving of lives. It's oh, not that nice. uh, we have fought in combat with each, uh, fought in combat against enemies together. It's not even that we're traveling together. The reason I care is he knows something that I need. So Evans is just getting shivers down the back of his spine yeah, at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his, his ears are burning. Yep. yep. So, oh, and I will place both hands on the table in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of look forward for a bit, and then <laughs> see her on my side. <sighs> you know now, I have a vested interest in someone that I assume is your target of some sort. I won't interfere with you, as long as you don't interfere with me. Ooh. Having said that, I feel like this might be a little problematic uh, on your end at least considering I don't have the information I need out of him so what are you here to do 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 and the plot thickens <laughs> I... like my do we hear this conversation go on no, no. This, this is, is at, min oh. this is at minimum, minimum 30, 30 feet away because that's, that's how hard to detect magic is can, if you can give me a motivation, I'll consider letting you make a perception check. But why else would you? But why would you be paying attention to you yeah, trying I'm to not grab some snatch? Motivated to be paying attention. Okay. As far as you guys know, this is Yudi trying to get the mass. Like this, yeah. this conversation yeah. suddenly just got so, really business. But yeah. Yeah. So Yolrum, why would Yolrum be paying attention to Yudi trying to get laid? Because he's secretly madly in love with Yudi. <laughs> Y'all right. I, I that didn't know. That might have worked if James had said it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got nothing. Uh, so no. Wait, no. Oh, I just wondered if we did. Okay, continue. Okay. I am. Um... A, a hunter of sorts. He and you recently <laughs> disturbed a harvesting area and were perfectly willing to let you. Oh, for fuck's sake, how did I not recognize her? <laughs> because she's under an illusion spell. She's glamour. Yeah. Get fucked. Uh, um, we're perfectly willing to let you insubstantial mortals leave, but n not him. Of course, before he dies, we could uh, run a sieve through his mind and get you any information you want. Whether he chooses to share it or not. Well then. And uh, at that, Yudi will be like, ah, and then stand up and say, we never had this conversation, and then walk away. Okay. I mean, oh no. You feel quite a wave of cold behind you. But, uh, I that's wait, it. wait. I, I might do something with this. Mm, do, do, okay. do, 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 Yeah. Okay. He's gonna feel pressure. She is. Yeah. Harmless sensory effect. <clears throat> pressure on the shoulders. Why not the snatch? Like the inner Press shoulders. Up. Like around, like closing around her neck, or just on the shoulders, like "hello, friend." Just on the shoulders, like "hello, friend." Okay. All right. And roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, was like, like point flipping in my, in my mind whether or not, or not I use fantasy, fantasy and basically fucking, fucking just incapacitate her. Then have oh, them yeah. fight. Good, <laughs> good, good, good luck using <laughs> fantasy on a fae. Good luck with that. 
So. so yes, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't say you couldn't. I just said it would be hard. So, uh, UD, UD returns after a pretty short time. Then this will just kind of lean over, pat him on the shoulder, and just say, you know, some some beauties are out of reach. And give I'll look at them and hand. throw up my hand and say, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. It's, I don't know. I feel like I've lost my game. <laughs> well, I, I don't see, considering your history, how you would have acquired said game in the first place, but... Oh, man. Yeah, I, I my wow. heart goes out to you in either case. <laughs> Okay, so there's plenty of fishes, uh, like fish, like fish, fish in the sea, as it were. Fishes, huh? Yes, but are they? Because right. see, them is the not meta sorcerer chicks, though. <laughs> oh, medium dated. No, 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 no. Sorry, what? Yeah, no, I'm. I don't meta game. No, no, no. Uh, why would them is care that you were trying to pick up some ass? There you go. Yo, do you want it on this? No, I don't have anything to say. There's a shark. What are you? What? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not casting that. I'm trying to do a thing. Uh, okay. That's, that's fine then. Okay. So, uh, Fuck. after probably still kind of probably still kind of out of it. Right. If I lose power, I'm sorry, there's an ice storm going over. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So, uh, after a little bit of uh, commiseration, I suppose, uh, Veronica sort of huddles a little bit around her. Around her, her warm drink that she has, and give a, give a slight shiver. Pulls the pulls her traveler's cloak a little bit further around her. I don't mean to rush us, but this it is very quickly become uncomfortable in here. Perhaps we could find the image of Maximus and plan out our day. Yes, I'm waiting on some correspondence from some friends, but. I suppose we could accompany you first, if that uh, doesn't bother anybody else. It's uh, only two blocks away, I'm sure they'll... It just won't be a long walk. Wonderful. Safety numbers, as I always say. And uh, Themis will get up, brush off his cloak a little bit. Else, Shall we then? Does anyone else want to go? Uh, I will accompany them. Alright. Well, he's Yorum and Rockham sitting there. So, you watch as you split the party. Oh no. <laughs> hey, a choice was made. Many choices were, were made in rapid succession, yes. And you, the three of you head out. Uh, and walk about two blocks to. What looks like uh, it's, it's very similar to, to the you are here mall maps that you saw in Zulfbar, but this is Del Toro, and this is more magical. Uh, it, it is more spherical, and uh, once you are within five feet of it, uh, the map will adjust itself. And its location and even size to provide you a two and a half, maybe even three dimensional image of Daltor that you were in. Jesus Christ! Good gods. Uh, but it is per person. So you each, so you all see something different. Uh, Avernica will. Will rearrange a few runes, and will, and, and your vision will shift to a building that's on the east side of Del Toro. That, that, that's, that's got a, a dwarven. Well, you read dwarven, so it's uh, 
it just says it just says, says selected location. Uh, she she shows it to you. It'll, it'll be at least a thirty minute walk. This is my uh, acquaintance's office where I need to get to. Whatever your plans are for the day, I would be happy to accompany you. But if we could make a stop along there at some point, I would be out of your hair on a permanent basis. Yes, that shouldn't be terribly difficult. That is quite the interesting artifact you have there. How does it work? Uh, it, it, it's, 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 it's a dwarven. It's, it's a dwarven city you work oh. here. Whereas, what is it? Oh, okay. I thought it was her. Like, no, she just no. pulled out, like, an artifact. No, they, they, got, got, they got these signages all over the city, but because they have more money, and because they were here longer, they just made it magical. As opposed to Zephar that just has, like, big, um, plat- uh, ste- steelies, steelies, whatever they are. Or ob- obelisks or big tablets. It's just more elegant, I suppose. Oh, interesting. Okay, yes. never mind then. Okay. Um. Yes. Well, I planned on visiting a glass worker or glass blower. Um. But I'm. Sh- to be honest, I feel that your acquaintance's uh, residence is probably closer. Je- let me check. And I guess I'll just. Y- Use their artifact to check where a fucking glass blower's uh, <laughs> would be. All right. Well, so, so the, the one that's closest, closest to her, uh, to her, to her location, location is maybe about five-ish blocks away. There's, there's a, a little, little cul-de-sac of various smithing facilities. One of them has to be glass. So that's, that's the one that's closest. closest. Um, there, there are. Three, Three others, others in the city, city as, as far as manufacturing, manufacturing goes, goes, not just retail. Hmm. Uh, you're welcome to okay. the other ones if you want. No, I'll probably just try the one closest to her to see if uh-huh. I can find what I need. Uh, you need it. Hey, that's me. <laughs> Barely. Barely. What, what, what do you... Do you, you want, want to go, go with them? them? Do you want, want to go, go back? back? Do you uh, want to look, look at the Imager Maximus? What do you want? I'm, I'm just following behind Themis for a bit. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? Hmm? what? I, I do, do not know. know. Conversation with, um, with uh, Sinter. Mm-hmm. Could I tell if she was like... On a tight schedule, or if this was more like a yeah, we'll just fucking kill him whenever kind of thing. She's definitely not. She's, she's focused, focused, but she's, she's not urgent or anything like that. that. Okay. Or, or, or not, not like, like, uh, like, 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 like the second is back, back to turn. turn. Nothing, Nothing like, like that. that no. <laughs> he's turned his back. Well, step, yeah. step, step, step. Yeah, uh, he's always the part of the bar. Followed us into the bar. Okay, I'm gonna try and perceive if there's anyone following us. Not specifically Sinter, I'm just trying to look for any followers. I know that she's good with illusion magic already, I'm not gonna try and fuck with that. Mm-hmm. So! Oh boy. Ah. Would you like some ah. assistance with that? Ah, I burned a lucky already, it's fine. 16. <laughs> Alright, All right. You, uh, you, you give, give quite, quite a few uh, peaks over, over your shoulder, shoulder as, as, as the day goes. goes. It's, it's, it's starting to get a little bit busier. busier. But it doesn't, doesn't seem like anybody's deliberately following your path. Uh, at, at, least, at least not consistently. Uh, there, 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 are, there are plenty of people who are traveling in your direction. direction. There are plenty of people who are around the image of Maximus. Maximus. Uh, but none of them seem to be side-eyeing you or paying you extra attention. Uh, it, it's you, you are pretty confident that no one's following you. Uh, there, are, there are still people who are uh, paying attention to Themis and his hair, though. Is so we need insight check of Vernica? Sure. What are you insight checking for? Is she trying to fuck us right now? <laughs> not not in the sexual sense, in the, uh, in the like, she's trying to fuck us over sense. 
Ah, never mind. I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> never you, mind. I rolled a two. You're, you're, <laughs> you are you are focusing mostly on threats from without, not really threats from within. Uh, mm. and the fact that she has this uh, t- blindfold made out of tassels makes it very hard to get a read on what she's looking at, if anything. Uh, and for the most part, she seems to be paying attention to the map, and then seems to be looking upwards more than around. And, and but so it doesn't look like it. Seems like she seems like she's doing her own little thing of sorts. So you all are going to head to the glass blowers? Do it. Okay. Yeah. So you begin you start walking there. Yorum and Raugum. What are you doing in the tavern? What do? What do? Oh, I was thinking about like doing a thing where I can like like train or some sort. Character development. Oh. But, or I yeah, I'm like, hey, so um how's it going, your old woman? How's it going? It's going. Last night was a little crazy. I'm still coming over from that. Yeah, it seemed to affect you a little bit stronger than the rest of us, which, whether that be us being new to it or just unlucky. Unlucky. As the man with the white shirt bought an ass, the same amount of drugs as you did. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm not just doing your shit. <laughs> Yeah, your room has been having a lot to drink. He was clearly very dehydrated. <laughs> Among other things. So, uh. You know you have to eat before that, right? Did it? I always eat after. Ah, good man. Uh, I, I didn't. Okay. I, I didn't eat that, but alright. <clears throat> so. Um, what made you join our clan? How did you get suckered in? <laughs> Convenience and curiosity. Mm-hmm. To what degree? Randomly, I arrived in the Fey. Coming in across, oh. then this was a surprise and intriguing experience. You watch as the woman at the bar gets up and leaves. Continue. Do I, do I walk to, like, just leaves or just, like, leaves or, like, she, she talk pays her, She pays her tab, but she gets up from the bar and walks out the door. Uh, okay, okay. Um... You didn't really notice her before, but the room starts to warm up as she leaves. Hmm. Continue. Must have been a weird draft. Must have been a weird draft. <laughs> Did you feel that temperature change? Or is that the spirits wandering around? I did feel it. Is that the spell back? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any idea if the temperature changes because of her, or do we just notice it? Well, we know it gets warmer as she leaves. You want to follow her? Uh, I'll let you make a uh, perception check to put the two together. It'll be be easy because there's not a whole lot going going on. Uh, I already have a I already have a pass of perception of 12. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, it came in when she came in and left when she left. It got cold when she came in and it's now warming up slowly. There's been a few other people that have come in and out, but she was pretty much by herself when she came in. She was by herself when she came in. 
interesting. Tis, but do you care? Do we? Bit. Do we? Yo, room? Do we care? I do. I think that it's worth looking into. Okay, let's go. So we follow her at a distance. Right. All right. So you leave and you like to trap. You begin, begin to, to hunt, hunt the hunter. hunter. <laughs> mm. This is gonna end well. <laughs> Give me your first survival check to track her through, through the city. city. Hmm. Yeah, that's better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> It's a shame, shame you didn't, didn't get, get her to bleed, bleed on your armor. That's what I was, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should, I should, I should, I should say it includes like spit. spit. You, ooh, ooh, I should I say, say it includes spit. spit. You, you could, could deliberately piss, piss her off so she spits, spits on you, you and, and then just have a band tracking her. That, that would be ridiculous. Or, anyways, or I could have just taken her cup. And taken a saliva from it. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe I'll, I'll what? <gasps> what? It's, it's planes. planes! Wow! That. We've what been playing D and D on like Wednesdays for the past two months, three. Longer, Longer than we've, we've been, been doing, doing Tuesday, Tuesday nights. I mentioned spirits, and he arrives. I tell you guys, like it's a full moon. Talk, Talk about spirits. This, this is, is a different, different campaign, campaign though. This, this is mine. mine. The yeah, I keep fucking yeah. Ah, uh, I'm losing track of everything. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, well, you're all you're welcome, welcome back whenever you have the time. time. So, so 13, 13, you track <laughs> this what? 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 <laughs> oh, oh my, my goodness, goodness, you left. <laughs> yeah. yeah! I, I told him he's welcome back. back. He, he knows, knows how, how to make, make a character. character. And all, all that, that shit, and, and he, he just left. left. I, I basically, basically invited, invited him back and left. And left so, so I don't want to hear it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's funny. I, 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 I knew it. it. He, he doesn't, doesn't like my style. style. He prefers failure, failure style. style. I, knew I knew it. It's clear, clear favoritism. favoritism. Wow. So, wow. you follow. Oh, yeah, we're Waluigi. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you managed to keep up with her pretty well. Uh, cool. Yorum... Hmm. Yorum actually does a couple of... Well, you got a 16 and a 13. Never mind. Okay, so with a, so with a 16... Uh, so we'll say instead of Yorum now, Ralgum. Ralgum actually allows two and three people deep to get between her and you two. And things seem to be going really well. Uh, she doesn't seem to notice. She's not taking a like. Does she look over her shoulder or anything like that? Uh, uh, no, she does not. Probably too arrogant to consider that she's being tailed. <laughs> At least for the moment. Are we? Hmm? Are we going into any particular like sketchy part of the city or like bu bu busy parts of the city or like it, it's, where we walk? it's getting a little bit crowded it feel well you know enough about Daltorum. it's a little bit near the center it's on the center east side and it seems like she's headed further east at least at least going by the roads that she's taking that you have a general idea of but mm -hmm. But she, she seems to be focused very strongly on what's in front of her, rather than being followed. Do, do I see what's in front of her? Like, if she's what she's tracking by any chance? Uh, probably not, but I'll let you roll for it. Perception? Yep. Oh, <gasps> get fucked. Natty 20, baby! <laughs> What? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Skippy. I'm sorry for everything. No, you're not. Don't even. Don't even say it. Sorry. It's, it's the least bad. believable yeah. thing in the world. You know, it's just the second that I said it was my game and not failures. He was like, "Okay, boy." So, now twenty. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty easy to see Themis's wibbly wobbly rainbow hair 
really high above the like four and a half foot dwarves that mostly inhabit Sounds this city. High, yeah. <laughs> high above you. <laughs> can I, can I like, tell? Yeah. The Yorl. It's, it seems like she's following Themis. Like in a real, like, hushed, you know, like, I can see that. Like, I'm telling him what I see. Right. Like, <laughs> Yorum's doing like Assassin's Creed shit and like standing in boxes to look over everybody cause technically he's the same height as the dwarves he's like doing some serious skeleton level shit man he's like Le- hang- hanging off of windows yeah yeah people, you know cause that's not weird nah, no isn't nobody nobody looks at like, you in the game like, why would they look at you shoulder you know? to shoulder you know like just like Ooh. press up between them like you belong the uh, shaitan is everywhere yeah. Randomly, like, uh, crouch behind boxes, trying to hide. <laughs> accidentally climb up the side of a building. Yeah, uh, yeah, down. totally accidentally. Try to yes. jump from the window that's right in front of you, and then you just jump behind you and die. <laughs> You've never been playing an yeah. Assassin's Creed game, and then yes. you're, like you're trailing someone, you accidentally start climbing a building, and you're like, what? Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, and and then you try to fix it, and then you jump right behind you into nothing. Yeah, yep. yeah. That's it, the your controls are not great. Maybe you'll get maybe you maybe you'll get surrounded by guards and wait as they attack you one by one so you can parry <laughs> for like twenty minutes. Uh, why would you not do that? That's totally believable. Parry and just bam X. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because you got all the time in the world. There's no there's nobody else coming. Doesn't matter. You're not gonna lose your quarry. It's not no, possible. And then once you once you get low health, you just run away and hide and assassinate them all. Yeah. Yorum's doing all of that. Do you need a performance check? Huh? Maybe, maybe for a faint, you need a performance check. That's something to think about. Anyways, for the moment, uh, Ragum is uh, in the zone. He's in his second hometown, let's say. And, and he is keeping a good view on... This this frosty figure and Themis's hair, and she definitely seems to be following him. So, Themis and Yudi, after going for a walk with Vernica for a little over thirty minutes, you arrive at a wide crescent cul-de-sac where you see various smiths. And the next to last one is a glass blower. It's a uh, it's a quite a portly uh, female dwarf that's working there. She's got a couple of younger looking, not quite full proper dwarven bearded uh, guys that are working with her. But they all seem to be competent enough, looking at their wares and what what they've got on display. Uh, she'll uh, she'll see you and m- motion for one of the other guys to take over what whatever she's currently trying to uh, blow, and she'll come and she'll uh, adjust her wide wrestler's wide belt and and approach you. Ooh, well, you certainly stick uh, stick out, don't you? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, yes. Oh, well, oh, oh, yes. It doesn't hurt to be the center of attention sometimes. Um. Yes. Right. Back to what I. Yes. Great. Yes. Uh, Themis, Lorian, at your service. Um, I heard from your. Most wondrous uh, city artifacts that you were a glass blower, correct? Oh, I am told I, I do quite a bit of that. You can see it uh, sitting all around the forge that I'm standing in right now. We got uh, large bottles over here. We got smaller ones over here. We got flasks, very popular. Yeah, um, I was wondering. If right. you perhaps took commissions for uh, personalized work, well, at a fee, of course. Right, of course. 
I do, uh, I do have plenty of contractual work that I've got to get done. But if you've got the relatively small order, I'd be happy to help you out. I can take a couple of well, uh, commissions for it. Well, you see, the issue, I think, would be more that I would require the glass enchanted as it was worked on. Now, if you do not, if you're not in contact with an, with an enchanter of decent skill, then I could find it, him on my own. Uh, but if you do, then that makes my job much easier. I've I've worked with a couple of enchanters around here. There's uh, there's certainly a college or two that I can tap for a couple of uh, students and all that. You're looking for just a standard resiliency and or uh, uh, I, don't, I don't want to say refrigeration <laughs> but uh, suspension maybe yeah to make, to make it last longer whatever's in it last longer look at that you're yeah. looking for something stabilize right, uh, a stabilizer yeah there you go or or you're looking for something more esoteric like spells in it or something like that um, well, I'm something of an alchemist, if I do say so myself, and, uh, <laughs> you did. was hoping yeah. to, uh, shall we say, acquire a more advanced set, as I lost mine in an unfortunate accident a few, uh, years ago, and have suddenly found myself in the need for something a little bit more delicate. Precise and uh, resilient than standard glass, and I'll just pull out uh, a flask and for my cloak and just kind of you know wave it around a bit. Uh, she'll 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 watch you wave it Gen around. Set of alchemist tools is what I'm what I'm after. Oh, so you want a custom set of alchemist tools, but for precision instruments and such. Well, that's going to involve some consultation, because I don't even know what consists of uh, precision alchemist tools. I know they've got uh, calculators and elbows, something like that. I, I don't really know what the names are. I can well, do I'm it. Sure we could I've done it. Sit down <laughs> and have a proper discussion if you think you can handle the job. Oh, aye. That shouldn't be too hard at all. Just have to get uh, the the specifics for it from a uh, professional. Well, that should be no trouble. It I is. am at the peak of professionalism when it comes to uh, potions. Uh, d d d like. Alright, so... Uh, and uh, without going into too much detail, how, how much do you think this would cost, as it were? Alright, so you're doing Alembic... Uh, calcinator Just this. retort, or what? You didn't look up. I don't. Instruments, I don't know you? what the DN <laughs> what the DNB five V alchemical tools looks like. It just says alchemy tools. Right. Well, I'm. I was going off of Oblivion, which has mortar and pest <laughs> which has mortal and mortar and pestle, alembic retort, and a calcinator, and. Well, then I assume... Then there's going to be, like, metal stands for all those things, because it's over flame. We don't actually have to go this far into it. I don't this think everyone a... else really wants to hear about it. I mean, it. we... <laughs> yeah, no, we don't... I, I, I don't think I, we need to get into the I, tedium. We'll I am just off have work the tomorrow. We can I, talk about I would it be... Wish. I would be interested in hearing the price and then putting in uh, an order myself after that mess, actually. Okay. But you're not... Oh, you are there. Who was yeah. it? Who was it? Oh, right. The other one. Oh, I killed your ass. Uh, there, there we go. <laughs> All it says is proficient. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Component. Two glass beakers, a metal frame, frame to hold a beaker in place over an open flame, a glass string rod, a small mortar and pestle, and a common pouch of alchemical ingredients. Mm. That's very, uh... Yeah. That's very... Let's see. Anyway, yeah, uh, we'll just call them alchemist tools and make sure. that a blanket term for a sure. bunch of things. 
Sure. Um, well, yes, if you can give me a ballpark number for how uh, much you think it would cost uh, without too much discussion, as I right. am in something of a rush at the moment, I can, at a later date, say um, two days from now, and we could just dis- discuss p- specifics. Discussing specific two days from now, or discussing specifics yes. and have them done in two days? Uh, discussing specifics two days from now, because oh. I don't know how much okay. it's going to cost, okay. and I don't know if I'm I'm giving myself some time to gather funds okay. Okay. by whatever means it necessary. Ooh, a rare uh, customer who understands that excellence and superlative action take time. That's a lovely change. Sure, two weeks, uh, two, uh, two weeks, two days is fine. I'll, uh, it'll give me time to get uh, Enchanter and maybe another uh, consultant in here to figure out the bit of elements in it, or a little bit more glass. Wonderful. And, uh, the price, as it were? Uh, Just a ballpark uh, guess. Okay. So Without you, too many. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, you want, want Alchemist, Alchemist Tools Enchanted with that are higher grade, grade presumably? Well, the ones... You are the one that sent me, um... Right. Yeah, 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 yeah the Alchemist Tools, tools of whatever, whatever quality. quality. Yeah, 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 so higher grade quality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is a higher grade, grade and then... The low, uh, She, uh, she, t- she, she tugs, tugs at her sideburns a little bit, bit sort of strings them out, puffs them, them up a little bit. Say <sighs> maybe if there's a little bit of 500. Wonderful. That s- seems perfectly acceptable. We can always, uh... <laughs> Hammer that down once we discuss specifics, but uh, right. we, we, can, we can jack it right out too, depending, depending on how the enchanter feels. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you know enchanters better I than just, I would, we, I guess. We, we just won't have the turn out. I, I don't think, think he'll mind, mind that way. Yes, I can wear the cloak. <laughs> I seem to have forgot it this morning. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. okay. So you, uh, and with that, I will in fact pull up the cloak and duck out of the building with Avernica and you. As you start oh, ducking out, I kind of grab the back of your cloak and be like, wait, 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 wait. Oh, did you have, you have an order? order? And I'll kind of like kneel down to be face to face with the. I'm assuming dwarf lady. Uh, did yeah. you just call a dwarf lady little one? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that was, was curious. curious yeah. there. I, I don't guess think, I fucking did. I don't, I don't think, think you're a particularly tall individual. individual. So I don't know why you're, you're leaning down, down, but okay. Sure. sure. You can. I am. Easy. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, you said, said you thought you were on the shorter side. I'm, I'm, I'm on the shorter side of humans, this is true. Okay. Well, well she's, she's not tall. tall. She's either. Yeah, she's, you're, you're, you're comparable. comparable. Whatever. Whatever. Anyways. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. okay. So you... Oh. Get, you, you get her attention, attention before she turns back. back. Uh, you, you're, you're an exalted looking one, too. Haha, yes. Well, strange people travel in pairs, generally. Um... Why? How much would ten? I wouldn't say buyers. Something that would hold uh, maybe a steel pin. Uh, that could be. Well, I need the glass to, to say not corrode to acids and or venoms. <laughs> and I'm gonna not look at them as at all when I say this. <laughs> I've got a bunch of those. <laughs> okay, okay, so where have we we've got, got uh, a tempered glass that's, that's been tainted to visit to specifically hold poisons and uh, slightly corrosive materials? There's plenty of uh, other alchemists here, here and as, as well as. Colleges and professors and all sorts of needs. But uh, I've got these. And she takes out. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna go into vial sizes again. <laughs> My apologies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's all going to be worth it when you ask me about the atmospheric density of the moon and I actually have an answer for you. Yes. It's all going to be worth it. It's yes. all going to be trippy. It's okay. I'm playing the long game here. That's what we're doing. She gets uh, some 19 milliliter that are 125 millimeters long and 16 millimeters wide sized vials. Test tubes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, sorry, could you give me that uh, measurement again? It is a 19 millimeter milliliter vial. It is 16 millimeters wide and 125 long. And that's, that is the first thing that she brings out to you. You got these that, uh, that we make uh, in bulk between me and a couple of other uh, forged uh, glass blowers that are be treated uh, chemically, or I suppose even alchemically, you could say, to be resistant to poisons and uh, lightly corrosive materials. It's technically not magic, so it'll be cheaper. But uh, the it's got a uh, it's got like a, a clamp on the top of it, as opposed to like a like a cork or something. It's got like a proper metal clamp that's been fitted on the top. That's that's much too small. I was thinking something more along the lines of. Um... The size and shape of a dagger. Oh, uh, same, same thing. That's to actually. Right, we've got some. Uh, what are they? Retorts? Definitely not that. I'll take glass sheath, if you will. Uh, graduated cylinder. Cylinder? <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't bring me back to science class. <laughs> uh, it, it's happening. We've got a some. Uh, we've got some graduated, graduated cylinders that could probably put a dagger in them on the on the wider sides. It's, uh, I don't even know. 300 milliliter size or, or larger with the uh, we, we, can, we can adjust the length it's not a problem do you have an example of a dagger that you would want to put in this? yeah I'll uh, produce my dagger alright she'll, uh, she'll take a look at it hold up a couple of oh right so uh, if we did a, uh, a 650 a cylinder. You can, you can get the uh, clamp top on. It's real simple, like, and it'll fit. And she'll uh, she'll hold one out to you if you want to put the dagger in and see that it fits fine. Yeah, uh, I'll try. Okay, right. So you do. It does it, it fit fine. It it does fit fine. There's a uh, close up and everything. There's a couple centimeters of clearance after the cap goes down and gets hooked into place. Right. How uh, how much would this run me? Well, you don't... Just the one, then. Oh, the price for the one, yes. Uh, that'll, be, that'll be five gold. Wonderful. I'll take ten. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> nice. Nice. Is she... Uh, is she still taking it back for a second? Uh, great. Caps. Ten it is. And uh, she'll set about packaging that up. Uh, she does, and you get a crate, <laughs> a wooden crate of ten graduated cylinders, all of uh, whatever it was, six fifty, I think I said, six hundred milliliter. That all have caps. They're all sterile. <laughs> That'll rub me 50 cold? Yep. Wonderful. Oh, those are chonky boys. Okay. Can. Um, so that puts me at... Yep. Cool. I'll slap down all 50 gold. Okay. She'll scoop it right up. Pleasure doing, Pleasure doing business. business with you. Oh, cars. Oh, you almost beat me there. Glad to <laughs> it's, uh, it's the first I have it. It's... 
So that's it for you two then? Yes, that'll be all for me. Right. I'll see you here in two days. Quite. Okay. And I'll give you the uh, little frown. <laughs> uh, tuck the cloak back up and uh, head out the door. Okay. You, uh, Follow. You both head out the door. So, uh, Ralgum and Yolrum, you watch as eventually your two or yeah, your two party members and Avernica, who was quietly observ ob quietly observing, uh, they head to a wide crescent-shaped cold sack of various forgers and manufacturers and smiths, uh, and stop at this one that has a lot of glass by it. So you can you assume it's a glass blower. Uh, the woman that you're tailing uh, doesn't particularly hang back. Instead, she busies herself with uh, other items that are on display, uh, even engaging in some small talk with some other folks around the area. Uh, given the amount of manufacturing and forges that there are, there doesn't. It, uh, there is a general aura of heat that seems to stifle a little bit her own aura of cold. None of the people that she talks to seem to shiver or turn up their collar or anything like that. They seem perfectly happy to engage with her in conversation. Uh, you getting, getting a glimpse, you can see her ears are rounded. So, whatever she, she so she appears to be human, and is going about and busying herself uh, like like she's just a regular shopper. While your two, while your party members engage in conversation with a uh, portly dwarven woman. Is there anything you'd like to do? She, to... Um, she close enough to the Miss and UD to hear what they're talking about with the lady. The sales lady. No, probably not. There is there are plenty of hammers going, there's conversations, there's bellows from the uh, forges themselves. There's there's plenty of noise and she would have to be closer than she is to have a good chance at that. Okay. Um, this is I'm, really I'm still gonna kind of yeah, it's tail about to get her. changed. So yeah, yes, I'm still gonna Taylor. <sighs> okay, so you're just gonna continue to follow. Okay, they're nice. Sure. If so she continues. To... If she can. If she continues to. Is she going to continue to follow Yudin Themis? Right. Okay. Right. So yes. Once they uh, finish whatever it is they're doing, <sighs> thank you, failure. So once they uh, appear to have finished, uh, they break away and she notices almost immediately despite the fact that she was looking at a collection of almost looks like uh, reminiscent somewhat of Damascus steel blades and she very and she notices immediately but she's very nonchalant and relaxed about her movement as she again takes steps to follow them. So, and you two are going to continue to track her. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, so, uh, Themis and Yudi, you are walking with Vernica, who I presume you're going right. to let her take the lead. 
to her uh, yes. friend's place. Okay. So, shit. Keeping okay. an eye out for trouble as we go. Of course. You do, uh... Um, you, you, you look around. Uh, it's, it's, it seems to be the high point, almost like the peak of the day. You don't see any fights or anything. You see a couple of people who, uh, a couple of groups, I should say, who look like they're uh, drawing on the ground, and they finish, and they apparate out of that space that they're in, uh, which you would recognize as teleportation magic. So there are people ah. going around and going about their business, doing all sorts of stuff. You see a couple of minotaurs, a, a, a gorgon, plenty of halflings and gnomes and humans. Uh, you even see a couple of elves as, as you go about. But for the most part, it's very strong on the dwarven side, racially. Uh, so you arrive at a... A stone building that's freestanding. Uh, it's got a curious little awning over the front of it, which is which Themis, yeah, yeah, Themis has seen once, but for the most of the city, you haven't really seen anything like this because you're essentially indoors under a mountain, and there's no weather or rain to, or sun really to make this necessary, but. There it is. What have I seen once? Uh, a, a doorway covering, an awning. Uh, you went through oh. that little vestibule that was curtained. Right, and right. You went to go see Minbar. But uh, this is like the only, this is like maybe the second, maybe the third time that you've seen something like that. It's just not very common. Uh, uh, Avernica will approach and give a knock. A, a young uh, human male will will open the door in, in a fairly fairly nice tunic. It's a very deep blue. It's got uh, black with gold uh, trim to it. That that's really quite thick. It's going to be at least uh, four or five inches. Uh, and he will welcome. He will. Uh, He'll be quite happy. He'll, well, let me restart that. Oh, Avernica, you're here. It's, you're quite late. Is everything all right? Who, who, are everything all right? Who are these people that are with you? And that, that beauty will go, hello, fellow human. <laughs> fellow human. Nice. That's what humans are Yeah. His eyes will get quite big and a little bit scared there for a second, and then he will uh, he'll give you a nod in your direction. Uh, Avernica will look over her shoulder with a, a, a degree of concern, maybe even a little bit of irritation. Uh, these are uh, uh, traveling companions that have offered to be a buffer against our, any sort of untoward activity. He, yes. He, um, he gives you were warned that hmm? we had our own trouble, though. Yes. Uh, so perhaps we should go inside? That might be best, yes. He, uh, he, uh, he, he welcomes you in. You step, you step inside. It's very heavily dwarven, but there are plenty of uh, drapes and rugs that are hanging from the walls that give it not quite that austere, everything-must-look-like-stone kind of dwarven feel. It gives us a little bit of homeliness to it. Uh, these are all... A lot of these things are also uh, not particularly familiar... Certainly not to Yudi, but to Themis, they're not consistent with the region. You may have seen a couple of these things when you were on the Africanus 
continent. But so, there's very few here, very little here that's reminiscent of anything in Europa. Uh, he will, of course, offer tea. You can take it or leave it, as well as some light refreshments. Uh, and he, uh, he will talk to Avernica. Uh, the the mistress is uh, here, but um, afraid she won't be for too much longer. Uh, but I know she wants to see you. If you all will excuse me, I will go and announce you. And at which point he will excuse himself, and you'll see and then hear him going up the steps. I guess I'll just turn and raise an eyebrow at Avernica. Uh, she turns her head towards you. Yes, this is hope. This is where we shall part ways. Uh, I simply needed to get here. I'm quite certain that my uh, friend Brenna can protect me from here on out. I, uh, I, th I thank you very much. I, if, if you require payment or anything, I'll be happy to make that so that we can settle any sort of debt. Well, um, that would certainly be welcome, though. Eh, unnecessary in this case. <laughs> uh, she uh, she gives a small, almost dutiful smile uh, before the the young boy comes back down. Uh, she's she's more than happy to see you, uh, all, all three of you, of course. Uh, please, uh, you please head upstairs. Yes. <laughs> As opposed to an old boy. I get it. Ha ha. So, uh, you, you'll all head upstairs and head into her office that is... Where is El Picture? There we go. Is somewhat reminiscent of this, but obviously less bright. But it is very monochromatic. It all has. <laughs> it has a lot. There, it's all green, even more so than in that picture. Uh, and there's a desk in front of the window. Uh, but everything is green. The upholstery is green. The, the floor is green. The tables are green. The drapes are green. The, uh, the gnomish woman that comes to greet you is, is dressed in a green velvet gown, very medieval, very European kind of style. Uh, it's got a little bit of a jacquard pattern to it, and she's got plenty of jewelry. She's got her hair piled up on top of her head. Oh, yes, come in, come in, come in. Oh, America, it's wonderful to see you, and you brought friends. Oh, oh, my goodness. goodness. Excuse me. Um, mm -hmm. Diligent Catalan. Uh, as, as UD steps to the door, she's going to kind of take a look around at all the green and be like, well, I feel underdressed for this. And I'm going to press DJ all of my clothes to be green for an hour. Nice. <laughs> uh, she, uh, she'll, leprechaun. Uh, she'll, she'll Asian smile. leprechaun. Asian leprechaun. Asian leprechaun. Nice. Uh, she'll notice she'll and, and give a smile. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Quite the, uh, gentleman, and a magic user as well! Uh, I think we'll get along swimmingly. So, please, 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 come have a seat, have a sit. So! Thank you, you were, for your hospitality. You, you were nice enough to bring my dear friend of Vernica over here. I am quite confident that she could have taken care of herself, but... I won't fault you for being overcautious. I'll put that in quotes. Don't put that in D&D, Colt. What's wrong with you? What? <laughs> she, uh... She, she sits back down 
uh, at her desk and waves her hand as you hear quite a commotion coming from the other room. I am... Uh, uh, you are, however, late, young lady. I am packing up to go down to Mauritania to go and rescue one of my friends from a ward of Gorgons. Uh, it's a long story, but uh, I was really hoping that you would be here sooner. And I wouldn't have to just jet away like this, but, um... I do. They, uh, they, they've stolen the... Oh, shit. It's not that one. Sounding Stop thing. it. You hate I had it. this, like, ten minutes ago. They've, sto they've stolen the armor of Perseus, and he went to go and get it, and now they've captured him. It's really just an entire cluster fuck. Sorry. Anyways. Perseus, um, the demigod. Yes, yes, the demigod. Of course, the demigod. He finally earned his stripes, as it were, and he got sent up to Elysium and didn't want or didn't take his armor. I don't even know why it's down here, frankly. But uh, he went to. But uh, our mutual. Well. Somewhat mutual acquaintance. She uh, she knew Braddock, but she doesn't she didn't really like him. Anyways, Braddock went down there to retrieve the armor from the Warren of Gorgons, and, uh, and he got himself completely boned. And now, of course, I have to go and take care of him and rescue him, which is just wonderful and exactly what I wanted to be doing with my week. So... Yeah, it sounds like quite the ordeal. It is quite the ordeal, and I'm going to have to uh, impose on your hospitality a little bit longer. Can you can can you watch Avernica and protect her while I go down and take care of this, please? I really don't think I can do both. Well, I probably could do both, and I am pretty fantastic, but I don't really want to. That's not a good idea. You split people's focus, right, and you split efficacy and results, and nobody wants that. I will pay you... Hmm. Naturally. I'll be gone... Hmm. Maybe a week? Probably less. If I'm gone less, I'll pay you less. I'll tell you that much. But if I'm gone a week, I'll pay you 10,000 gold to watch over her. While Would I'm I gone. know if... And then I'll come back. Do I know if the have any venom for poisons? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Yudi wants to <laughs> go along. It's gonna be a, a hell of an inside check right there. You can yeah, well, never mind then. Yeah, that's a hell of an insight check I, right there. I, don't, I got 13. I don't, hey, above average, all right? I don't see exactly why insight is going to tell you about the anatomy of an animal. But we'll just, not, we'll just say it's the 13. The 10,000 gold. Yeah. I don't care about the <laughs> fucking animal. I can buy no, just the animal with 10,000 gold. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> The fucking 10,000 gold part. Alright, so, I'm, again, I'm going to say that an insight check probably doesn't cover a nature check. So, but I'll let you keep the 13 and just say it's nature, even though you probably Wait, don't have the same na scores for Nature? That. He wants to do an insight check to see if Gorgons have venom, right? I want oh, to do, like, a history that's, or... That's not uh, an insight maybe, check. That would be, like, maybe, nature or maybe arcana. No, the 13 is my role to figure out if oh, she's, well, like, fucking with me about the Yeah, we're, we're trying to do two different things right now. Okay, all right. So go ahead and... So, Yudi, you can make a nature check or an arcana check since they are... Ah, you know what I'm taking. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm okay. taking. All right, all right. So one thing at a time. So she is in such a tizzy. She might be speaking out of turn. Uh, she seems very confident that she has the money. She seems very confident that she is means to pay you for it. Uh, you don't see, you don't sense any sort of duplicity. You do sense a little bit of uh, maybe kind of like franticness to it. Maybe a little bit of throw money at the problem and it'll go away kind of thing. Not so, not duplicity, but maybe a little bit of absent-mindedness, if anything. Like maybe she's overpaying you. <laughs> But she probably doesn't uh, real, she probably doesn't think that at the moment. But you could take advantage of the fact that she's offering this without fully thinking it through. 
Yeah, take advantage of someone who's about to go into a nest of Gorgons to save a, a freaking demigod. demigod's yeah. friend. Well... Or a fucking demigod himself, I forgot. No, no, no. Perseus went... Perseus ascended to Elysium. Braddock went to go and get the guy's armor that the Gorgons have because the Gorgons don't like Perseus. <laughs> Perseus, yeah, nah. whatever. Yeah, because they don't like Perseus. Uh, so it's it's very convoluted if there's any sort of connection there. It's very faint between a demigod and all that. So Yeah, but she's still doing something on behalf of a demigod. Or in maybe. relation to demigods and a massive nest of Gorgons. So Again, like I don't wanna I don't like it sounds like I really don't wanna be, be fucking, fucking with this person. person. You, you know, know what I mean? Like <laughs> Like, well, let's see. You made a most people would hear the term ten thousand gold and think, "Yeah, I'll fuck it." <laughs> but then, you know, like, I sounds like you know, fucking this person over could get me in a little bit of trouble. Is this you know what this, I mean? this is from the same person who basically made a relatively formal pact with a fey entity yesterday? <laughs> yes. Okay. But see, right. that's different. I have experience mm -hmm, with fey. I do not, however, have experience with mortals with the power to just, like, walk into a Gorgon's nest, pull someone and some mythical armor out, and be like, peace, and then come back. <laughs> Never mind the fact that she looks like a fucking old codger in female form. Oh, uh, okay, bye, James? <laughs> yeah, James probably went to oh, sleep. Oh, yeah. It's 1 a.m. Uh, he's not really doing much. Oh, well. Hey, he participated. He, no, I mean, there's not much for him to do right now, because I have to keep yep. switching back and forth. That's what I meant. Hashtag splitting the party. <laughs> Hashtag why do we keep doing this? <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, but yeah. Um, um, so I will just... Uh, not to... Um, Fuck you, planes. Go ahead. What? Keep going. Devalue... Our dear friend Avernica here, but it, that do, that number does seem to be a little bit high. Uh, she uh, is she's making she's tracing a circle in with her right with her right hand, and with her left hand she's uh, rummaging around in in one of her drawers behind her desk, and you hear more. You're, you're like heavy thumps in, in the room to her right where she's pointing at with her finger. Uh, yeah, 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 all right. All right. Well, I'm not making it any higher, I'll tell you that much. Do you happen to have a mirror on you? I know I need one. I just don't think I have any right here. Oh, wait, you wouldn't happen to have a dimensional mirror problem on you, would you? Come up behind. A what? This is unfortunately a problem that's come up before. I don't really... I'm not of the vein type. I don't I don't really care. Perhaps I should be carrying me. No, I don't have a mirror. Well, I'll find a lot of good you are. All right, I, I've got one around here somewhere. I just need to find it. Maybe if... Um, the duty will pop back into the conversation. I, I'm sorry, uh, a dimensional what? She, she, she stops for like a second. Her finger keeps going, but she stops rummaging. A dimensional mirror. Anything that looks at, anything that looks into it, gets cast into another dimension. You don't. Oh, that's you've never heard of that. Wonderfully interesting. Oh, no, I, I, I have a dimensional door if that helps. So. <laughs> oh, well, I got like twenty of those. Oh, holy shit! Okay, you're right, Sidon. She's really powerful. <laughs> never mind. Uh. <laughs> she could yeah. just be talking about spell slots. It's not like it has to be a physical thing, right? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, yeah. If she is talking about spell slots, and she can cast that spell 20 times, well, it, it, I can't stand up to her at all. She's like, got a lot going on, she's just throwing out numbers, you don't know, you want to do an insight check and see if that's an actual, the, the actual amount that she's uh, thinking of? Because I nah, guarantee you, 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 I guarantee you she's not thinking of a specific number when she was so, when she said that. You, you, will, you will believe, it's okay. Okay, uh, so Gorgons aren't really known to have uh, poison anything. Uh, it, it is known, or, or, or at least written about, 
in some texts that they turn their victims to stone and then they are somehow then able to consume that victim. So there's either some sort of magical element there or maybe they have some sort of of acid or, or poison or something that works specifically on stone that allows them to digest it either in their mouth or in their stomach or something like that. So there is a v possibly a very specific type of poison in their system somewhere. But as far as like them spewing it at people, never heard of anything of the sort. As far as them like using magic to cast poison, maybe. But as far as like biology and anatomy, that's the closest that you can get to it uh, of, of, of a poison with dealing with gorgons. It would be intestinal or digestive of some kind, but it's certainly more powerful than yours. <gasps> so, uh, she <laughs> she reaches into her, uh, she goes back to filling the dresser drawer and pulls out this very thin, full-length mirror from out of this drawer that's in her dresser. Ah, now it's the wrong one. And, and she just throws it right back down in there. And you don't, you just, you don't hear anything. Doesn't, you don't hear shatter, nothing. All right, Holy so. Fuck. <laughs> Lady has fucking dimensional door drawers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, yes, she does. All right, so. Drawers of holding. <laughs> All right, so. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta focus here. There's a lot to do because this, this, this was supposed to be done like days ago. Avernica. I don't know what took you so long to get here, but I'll listen to you tell me later when I get back. You better have a good excuse. So, <clears throat> the two of you, just, like, watch over her. She'll probably be fine. She has spells and magic. She's not helpless, but just, you know, protect her. Can you do that for 10000 Is that good? Is that an acceptable amount? You need a magic item? What are, you, what are we doing? Got a yes or no? I got things to pack. I can't help but feel that we are getting the better side of that deal. I s simply wouldn't want to have insult you in any way, that's all. I'm I'm not sure you're not so rushed, you would not, not to, of course, uh, devalue Avernica's Aver life. But um, I can't help but think that maybe if you were not so rushed, then the you might reconsider on such an extravagant price. It is a king's ransom, after all. Avarika, I think you're worth 10000 What do you think you're worth? I am quite sure that 10000 may be a bit high, but uh, we can throw in the fee that they protect... We can throw in the fee where they protected me earlier today and, and were bodyguards, and maybe that'll even it out. Ah! Alright, how about that? Does that work? Um, Themis looks a little flustered. Um, uh, certainly. Uh, I, I don't see an issue with that. As long as you're sure. Great, Great fine, fantastic. fantastic. No, I am super sure that you guys are going to earn your keep. That'll be great. That'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. You two seem really capable and, uh... Magical? Yes. Well, well you, you definitely, definitely seem magical, because you're an Aladdin. You kind of have to be magical, magical, right? And then you look kind of exotic. And strange. But I'll come back, back to you later. later. So, 10,000. You. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, just going to start every other person, person that you meet now is going to be able to see through UD's Little, Wait, uh, no, please, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> next, right. next human that he meets. Hello, fake person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Gollum. So, uh. Precious! Yeah, there you go. She will, uh, grab a, a very large hand mirror that's, uh, been fashioned in the shape of butterfly wings and looks at herself in the mirror. Oh, this will be perfect! I'm so glad I have, like, 
glad I had these. All right. And she watched as she tosses it over her head, and it floats over to a door that's on the right side of the room, or your left, I suppose, on your left side of the room. The door opens, and you see, like, huge pieces of traveling luggage, like steamer chests and shit. And there's just shirts and... Items, items and all <laughs> kinds of all yeah, yeah brassiers. There's, there's there's like uh, like a candelabra. They're all it's, it's all just, just being thrown into these things like they're vortices. Like they're vortices. And it's, it's, it's just, just it's just they're, they're just, just getting, getting filled up with all kinds of shit that she thinks she might need with this. And there's like four or five of them in there. Uh, Yudi's gonna just lean over to Themis <laughs> and in a very hushed whisper. I want one. Themis <laughs> uh, will just look over at Yudi and just gently pat him on the head. Bulk. And then be smiling again. <laughs> Alright, so, so Veronica can fill you in on all, all the details and all that crap. Uh, uh, I'm going to be gone for a week. I'm going to be leaving in... Uh, Hours at the most. So, so is there anything else you guys, guys need here, or what are, what are we doing? doing? Why, why are you Why are you guys here? Still. Uh, would you happen to have poison of the purple worm? Poison of the purple. She uh. She she taps not in this area. She taps her chin and gives the really and gives and gives, and gives herself a good thought. Ah, uh, probably. Uh, that would probably be in my lab though. Uh, well, I don't want to inconvenience you too much then. Would you happen to know where I could get some myself? Preferably from the actual creature. You want actual... You want to go get it from the creature itself? There's no way you're going to live through that. That's crazy talk. Probably not. But if you really want to... Oh, fuck, that's a CR-15 mob. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of purple worms on Corsica. You just go there. Oh no! Please, <laughs> 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 let's not talk about Corsica again. She was like, "Oh yeah, you'll probably want to die." I'm like, "No, I should be fine." I I pop Google and I look it up, and I'm like, "CR, I don't know why I shit myself a little." Yeah, you do not know that there is CR thirteen. Clearly, she she ponders. Ah, Dragon used to do some purple worm hunting with the. The Hide Masters? No, wasn't it? That sounds stupid. The Tannery? Uh, he, he, he got like special stuff for me a few times. He does that for the, for the wizards. He's like a... Uh, he's like a component commissioner. Or something like that. Where, he, where you, you tell him that you, what components you want. He goes and gets them. Like, he's gone down to... Tartarus, and he's, he's, I think he's gone up to the Elysium, and he's, he's, he's got, got me some, some, uh, some purple, purple worm stuff, he's, he's a pretty, pretty great, great fella. Uh, I, I can probably put you in touch with him, he's over in the Himalayas right now, I think. It's a shame that you just him in the big market in Ravenna. I would love to network with him. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike sure. some other people. Oh. Sure thing. Ah, uh, uh, she'll, uh, hmm, I don't know how she'll do this. Alright, well, here, actually, let me, let me, get, let me, let me I'm gonna get, get this to a Veronica, because I don't know, know you. you. But, <laughs> this, but <laughs> this is a, uh, this, this is, is a mess, this is a messenger, messenger book. book. You write, you write it, it and, and next time he opens it, he'll get it, and you can just communicate that way. If you, if you want, want to uh, figure out what his schedule is, or ask him to hunt you something in particular, you can tell him about that. I'll give this to her, though, though, so you all don't, you know, make a mistake and move or buy or anything like that. Also, he probably was going to recognize her handwriting over yours. He did really recognize mine, obviously. But I'm not going to be here. So... I will yeah. give her my most dashing smile yes. and just thank her. She'll, she'll hand the... Uh, okay, that'll be something to do. She'll, she'll hand, hand the... Uh, oh, she'll hand the, the instant, instant messenger book. book. <laughs> she'll hand, she'll hand uh, the yes, instant messenger tome. tome. Alright, All right, night, night chili. chili. Good night, chili. Ciao. 
the home of Book of Faces. There you yeah. go. Then there were three. Yes. Yeah. And at which, which point, point uh, America, America will, will, will tuck, tuck it away in her own little uh, satchel. satchel. <sighs> All, All right. right. You, you should, should, you should all, all get, get going. going. Uh, as, soon as soon as I leave, leave I'm, I'm going to have, have what's, what's his face? face? The, the, the kid, kid lock this place, place down. down. Probably move, move it to another spot, spot for a little bit. And you don't want to be there for that because I don't even know where he's going. It's, it's going to be, be a long walk. walk. Either, Either way. way. Right. Take a quick look around, and we'll still be in Dalturum, though. Correct? No, no you, you will, will if you leave, leave yeah. yeah. Or, but, not, not, but not, not the building. building. That would be crazy. crazy. What is the point, point of moving a building if it stays in the same spot? spot. You're not. Are you sure you can take care of her? You don't seem good at thinking. Well... If you have some business in the city to take care of, I, I, I would hate to have to uh, walk back, as it were. Right, well, well, uh, well then how'd you get, get here? here? Never mind. Do as you will. <laughs> You're certainly paying enough, uh, uh -huh. paying us enough for it. You know, you know I'm going to be in the, in the desert. desert. I think, I think I'd, I'd like, like to come, come back to something, something wetter. wetter. Maybe, Maybe I, I, I'll have them send, send it over, over to Atlantis, Atlantis or something. something. That'll, That'll be, be fun. fun. Although, she, uh, she uh, gives it up on the thought. thought. This, this color scheme, scheme isn't going to work at all. And she, she snaps, snaps her fingers. will just fucking, mm -hmm. like, turn around and, like, wide eye UD, like, oh my god, what the fuck have we just gotten into? She, this what won't do? She, this, this color, color won't do. do. She, she does a little, she has a couple of snaps in, like, a like a whirlwind kind of motion. And, and the whole, whole room changes, changes to a blue color scheme instead of green. And, and now, now Yudi looks uh, very out of place. place. You Yudi will immediately go to match. <laughs> <laughs> she, gets she, a little, she has a little, little twinkle, twinkle in her eye. eye. Yeah, you're, you're quicker. quicker. You're definitely, definitely going to be, be the brains, brains of this operation. operation. I can I tell, tell right now. now. All right. Let me get. Let me get my. Let me pocket my. My luggage, and we'll be good to go. She takes out a small, what looks like a purse, and holds it open, and you watch as five steamer trunks just go into it. All right. Off to the teleportarium. And with that, she's going to uh, excuse herself from the office. Uh, I'll turn to a Veronica and just say, Well... You didn't tell us your friend was so interesting, eccentric, uh, I, fun, <laughs> fun. I had not hoped it to go this way. Uh, I must uh, trespass on you a little bit longer. Uh, but yeah, she's uh, she's very powerful, which is why I went to her first. But, um, I got waylaid a little bit. So, <clears throat> we should make our exits, I, I suppose. I'm not getting this voice down at all. We should make our exits, I suppose. And with that, that she'll, uh, hurry certainly. out of the door behind Brenna. Shall we? You <laughs> know, beauty. I think that's probably a good place to stop off. Tis, tis indeed. You guys are going to bed? Yeah, probably. Ah. Uh...